Hello my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. I got some more video footage for you on the water wheel project. As you saw in video 673, we finally finished the wall, but we've got some cleanup to do and some forms to build. And for those of you who are paying attention, you'll notice that uh, the halftime show that we played during our live concert will also be featured inside this video. So just know that there is some duplicate footage, but most of this, at least for sure at the beginning, is all brand new. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Well, my friends, it's time to clean up that big pile of dirt on the other side of the bobcat uh, that you can't really see very well right now, but you'll see the results. Well, my friends, that's anything but easy to do. This backhoe is not an excavator. You know, it don't have the swing. It don't have the ability to do a lot of things that an excavator could do. You know, you can th swing 360 with an excavator. You can barely th swing 180 with this. And I'm in a tight spot. I can't back up anymore. If I could back up some more, I could get to this and dump it in here but I don't have very much of a reach either. So yeah, it's just really difficult. Um, way better than doing it by hand. So I'm not complaining exactly. I'm just trying to explain to those of you who are gonna be critical going, why can't you do that better than now? It's not that easy with this thing. It's still way better than a shovel and it'll just take me a little time. I'm in no hurry. Well, I got rid of that first load. It was a decent sized load. It's gonna be hard to even get a full load this time because I can barely reach the material and it's just a difficult situation to be in with this bobcat and the backhoe thing. But uh, I took the sides off the trailer this time to hopefully make it a little bit easier. Let's see how it goes. in a ball and no self-serving boss nor the threat of the loss of the paycheck that I've earned to find cause I'll be out of 
on that ranch where I can reach the first branch of that corporate tree grown from on high. I don't own it. Well, realistically, that's about all I can fit on the trailer. That's a heavy, heavy load. I still have about a third of it to go, or maybe a fourth of it to go. I'm going to have to move the bobcat, and the problem is if I move the bobcat, I can't get the trailer in here. I really don't know what I'm going to do about the rest of it. It's going to be a lot of manual work, it looks like. Okay, we're going to give this another go. We'll see how it goes. I don't have a lot of room. I'm not going to be able to get very much this time, I don't think. Just manage its worth. It's a small slice of heaven place down here on earth. Care for his trees, the water his son. I don't own it, just rent it from God. Well, that's not very good, and I cracked my board there a little bit, but uh, that's about all I can reach, and just have to. Uh, reposition the bobcat and I don't know what I can do then because I cannot back up anymore I'll have to get the bobcat on this side and rake this stuff out but I have no place to put it that's the problem so we'll just have to see how it goes well I've spent about uh, 10 minutes shoveling some of this off the back here and now I'm gonna get on the other side and shovel in I think that's all I'm gonna do is shovel just this much I can get and then I'm going to bring the bobcat in and do, with the blade and just push it into that, you know, push the rest of it over that bank there and just smooth it out the best I can with the bucket and that's going to be good enough. So we'll just see how it goes. Well, I think that's going to be good enough. I think I can push the rest of it out, smooth it out, and cover it with gravel. And we'll be fine. That's my thought anyway. I hope it works. for right now tomorrow I'll get the laser level out and shoot a grade on all this and try to get it all real level and then we'll start building forms well it's time to get started building the forms let's see how that goes oh, miss me when I tell them I'm history that's okay for I've got a plan and there'll be no regret well I got some more tools there and I think I'm fairly square off of my wall you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just got to be in the ballpark. No hard feelings, no debt. We're all doing the best we can. So here is my last word. Some may think it absurd, but I know that someday you'll find it's better to leave than to stay and to grieve. Instead of a paycheck, you'll have peace of mind. I don't want it to just manage it. I'm basically going to pour a 10 by 10. The building, I think, is only going to be 8 by 10. The building's going to stick out a little ways from the wall. That'll give us a little bit of room, only a couple of feet to walk through here in case we have to do some kind of maintenance on the outside. And I'm planning on the concrete here, I'm planning to make a light swale down through here so that the water. Uh, that you know when it rains or the water running off the building whatever can run out and go around 
that's the plan. I hope it works. I went ahead and drove in yet another stake over here on this wall. I'm going to drive in the other stakes. Then I'm going to go get the compactor, compact this area, and backfill it and all that. And then I'll put the other wall up. Earth, it's a small slice of heaven place down here on earth. I care for his trees. I water his son. I don't know did he just read it from God. I think I'm going to go get the leaf blower and just blow these leaves out of here. And they don't hurt nothing, but I just want them out of here just to make it clean and easy to do all the work I'm doing here. I thought I might as well kill two birds with one stone. I just got this new blower. It's called an Inhulk, E-N-H-U-L-K Pro Series. It says 9300 CFM. I can tell you this thing really does move some air. I've already blown off a large parking lot and a uh, big portion of the lawn. I did recharge it, it's fully charged right now. It's a five amp hour battery. This was sent to me to, to do a video on it, and I thought, well, heck, I need to blow these leaves off anyway, might as well use this thing. So what's cool about it, you don't have to start it. You just pull the trigger and it works. Very cool. <laughs> Well, as it turns out, the wind's blowing this way, as you can tell. So I'm going to start up there and blow them this way because that's just a lot easier. I think you can tell that it really blows hard the way it's blowing the gravel and the dust and everything. But I'm just going to pull the trigger and hold it loose and watch what it does. It just pushes its way backwards. It's very powerful. If I was going to give it any negative, it's that it's a little heavy. You know, you're going to pay for that if you're going to use a battery tool. You got to have a big heavy battery and this thing works really good. This one didn't come with a strap, but you can get a strap for it. But quite honestly, I wouldn't use the strap anyway. That's just me. I'm not a strap kind of guy. I, I'd rather just hold it in my hand, but it does, it does push on you. That made short work of that. So now we'll get back to the business here. That, that corner's low for sure. So I'm just going to rake stuff over there. I 
think I'll just get the bobcat and make short work of it because I'm going to need some more gravel in here, I think. Well, in my typical stupidness, I forgot to turn the camera back on, but I think you can see I dumped a small load right in there. <laughs> It's worth It's a small slice of heaven Place down here on earth Care for his trees I water his sun I'll get the laser level and hopefully this time I'll remember to turn the camera back on. Hopefully you can see the laser level set up over there and it's spinning a laser around and this is the receiver and this receiver then will tell you whether you're high or low I'm just going to go about in the middle of this and call this, just for grins, I'm just going to call this average, and we'll see where we go from here. Okay, that, let's see, i got to get the bubble level here. Okay, the bubble's level, that should be about level right there, and let's just see, are we high or low here? We're low, so this needs to come up, that needs to come up, this needs to come up a little bit, according to this, maybe this middle just needs to go down, yep, I'd say the middle needs to go down, because everything seems to need to come up. This needs to go down right here. All right, so that gives me an idea. I'll rake from here and here out to these outer edges. That ought to get me pretty close. I don't know it, it just ran it from God. closer than it was. I'm just going to get the compactor run over this and see how that goes. like you're walking on concrete it's very very solid it just vibrates all the little rocks into their place all right we're gonna check the level again this is just a little bit low here it says this is just a little bit high right here so we'll move high to low that'll do it I'm gonna go ahead and check it just to make sure I didn't miss some big obvious thing but I think we're good so we're still a little high there actually 
kind of thought that might be the case. It says we're a little low there though. And I think we're only talking a tiny bit. Yeah, we're pretty good, I think. I think we're good enough. I'm going to go ahead and get the other board and put it on here now. Well, I went and got the board for that other end, and I'm about ready to cut it off. <music> think that's going anywhere I'll get the concrete figured up and ordered for this coming Friday today is Tuesday I need to get going I probably am running late yeah 351 so I got to get ready to go to Dickie's barbecue pit this evening no rush I'll get this ready for Friday for a pour on Friday <laughs> 